Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, during our Cardboard Coat Check segment, we are going to be answering the question, what's in the box? We're gonna be checking this game in, and I gotta make sure there's nothing untoward inside. And based on this cover, I'm not sure. So I am the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find most of my content online at tabletopbellhop.com, where you can find videos like this, unboxing videos, actual plays, news, reviews, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. If you've got a question for us, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com, or go over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop. On that same webpage, you'll be able to find answers to other people's questions, including pressing questions like what are the best licensed games out there? All right, we're gonna get right to it. We are going to unbox Gorus Maximus. This is my first time seeing this game. A thanks to Inside Up Games and Connor Magui, who gave me a copy of this at Origins to bring home. Uh, there was no obligations tied to that, but I figure why not? Corey, Corey gave me the game. I'm gonna do an unboxing video for him and I'll let you know my thoughts on the game. So here we have Gorus Maximus. I'm going to read off the back of the box before I zoom in, but first I'm going to cut the shrink wrap off because it's a little hard to see. So I just using a hobby knife, always cut away from yourself when using a blade. I got to say right off the bat, which you couldn't see, that is nice. There is some gloss on here. There you can kind of see it in the video there. That's a nice touch. That is a really nice touch. Though it's kind of odd that the people's boots are glowing of all, th okay, it's their armor. So all of their armor, the helmets, and of course the blood is slightly reflective. Nice choice. Uh, nice thick box, it's got a nice feel to it. So a trick-taking game of bloody gladiatorial combat. First off, Connor is Canadian, and I gotta say, I love seeing the Canadian flag for the English instructions, is that the British or the US, that's just a personal win there, I dig that. All right, trick-taking game of bloody gladiatorial combat. One to eight players compete free for all or in teams. Gain the support of the masses by collecting gladiators with positive crowd favor and avoiding those with negative crowd favor. Challenge by matching the rank of the last gladi gladiator played in Trump suit changes mid trick. At the end of the round, sorry, at the end of the round, the zero of Trump awards five bonus points crowd favor. All right, I gotta admit that sounded like I know most of those terms, but how those play. One of the nice things, I love to see a QR code right on the back of the box linking to a how to play video. I don't know who did the how to play video, but learn to play in two minutes. One day players, two to 45 minutes, 13 plus, I have to assume that's due to content, not game difficulty. So let us take a look at what you get in the box for Goris Maximus. There we go. So first things first, this is not going to open up easily. I can tell. It's starting to fall. Yeah, this is, the box is very thick and it seems to be a mounted. Art was added on top of this. And because of that, it's a very tight fit. I can tell this one holding it. There we go. Got it open. And we took some of the contents with us. So we're going to put that back so you can see how it should have been in the box. So we start off with what looks to be a full rule book. Yep, so this is a full rule book in a language that is not English. So I will put that aside. And we'll have another full rule book in a language that is again, not English. Then we have the English rules. Slight disappointment here. They're a little tucked in. So they're gonna be a little bent. That's just a bummer. I, I It's not terrible, but you know what? Starting a game, getting a brand new game with a bent instruction book just kind of stinks. It's disappointing, but not horrible. It's not gonna ruin the gameplay at all. So here we have the English instructions. My bent English instructions. We're gonna try to bend those back a bit. We are gonna take a quick look. I gotta admit, for a fairly small book, a table of contents, that's a nice touch. We are looking at only eight pages. Rules on all eight pages. Shows what you get in the box, of course. A ton of examples, I like that. You've got dark text on white background, but that is very small font. That one's gonna be one for me. I'm gonna have to take my glasses off. I realize not everyone watching is gonna have that problem. I have no idea how this game plays. Looks like you're gonna have a huge row of cards potentially on the table. 
Um, shows how to set up your teams with different player counts. That I recognize. There's some interesting background art here. Again, man, it looks like we are going to have some massive piles of cards on the table while playing Gorus Maximus. A lot of cards are going to get played. There's some reminders on the back. Interestingly, there's no QR code on the rule book linking to the actual play video. So it's interesting they put that in the box. My guess is just that it came out after the fact. After the game was published, they put out the video. All right. I am impressed right here. Oh, those are nice. Some real nice coins. Some real nice poker chip style. I don't know. They're damage tokens or what they're used for for the game. Now open these up. Oh, these are nice. These are nice weighted. You can tell there's a weight in these. We're going to do a... I'm sure you can hear that. Yeah, these are nice. They have one or two on them. I don't know what one and two means. And a nice glossy coat on them. Nice thick chips. We got two stacks of those. I'm not going to bother opening the second stack. No point in that. Nice place to put them here too. Then we have two sets of cards. It's odd that one's in a tuck box, the other isn't. It's an interesting uh, design choice. And then a desk and package, pro tip. If you live anywhere that has high humidity, don't throw these out, keep them in your game boxes. It'll keep your games dry. Oh, we have a little tiny clip thing. So I'm assuming that's gonna go on something to track something. And there is a spot for the clip thing. So that's a nice touch. We're gonna throw the, that in there. And we're gonna take a look at one of these boxes. We got some kind of war pig on here. Doing a quick feel. Yeah, there is a quick open, you know, cigarette pack style thing, but I'm not gonna bother since I didn't find it very quickly. Open up the first deck of cards. All of the backs are the same. And then we have, I gotta say, I like the pig. I like the art already. All right, totally different art for number two. To what the heck? We have the war ostrich who has body parts flying everywhere. It's not something you see every day. That's a, There's your powerful gladiator there, an ostrich. <laughs> Some brutal looking guy. You gotta admit, the, the excessive blood is, to me, a little silly. I don't know. I guess it fits the theme of Gorus Maximus. I could do without that. I kind of get it. Okay, I like this guy in the chariot. But again, the horse is just covered in blood. It's just, I don't know, taking it a little too far. Didn't need to be there. You could add a game like Gorus Maximus without quite as much blood, but still have the whole, ooh, it's brutal and gladiatorial. All right, we're back to war. Okay, so once we get to the yellow suit, we're in the same art, but with yellow, yellow art, like uh, yellow highlights. Oh, not all the same, though, because that was definitely not in the other deck. And that, there's a alligator chewing on some people. And a bull who has skewered a couple people with its horns. <laughs> okay, the, the very bloody bear. All right, so a couple of the animals were the same. You got a pair of gladiators here, whoops. All right, I'm gonna speed up. You don't need to see all this art. It's nice to see some people of color focused, uh, featured. Again, some duplication, some not. It looks like the um, boar is in every deck. But some of the other ones are definitely different. Yeah, because there's the, the harness again. All right, so that is that stack of cards. Cards are a little thinner than I would like. Just slightly. Otherwise nice. Um, seem really easy to shuffle. They, they don't slide too much. They're not overly glossy. Overly glossy cards are a bad thing. You don't want a deck that falls over while you're playing. All right, now we're gonna see why some of this is in a text box. Now this says GM2GO. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's like a more advanced game or something. Don't know why this is separate. And we have double protected cards. <laughs> so once we get this open, we have 
a whole another set of cards, another pack of cards. I'm failing at getting my hobby knife into the plastic. Okay, so first card I can see is the same art. So we have a bunch of cards that say two, and a bunch more cards that look like exactly what we had in the first set. So these either have two or one on them. I don't know. They look like the same thing as the poker chip things. No clue. Have I not played the game? I don't know. Then we have more cards with the exact same art. Yep, same art. Same people. Well, I don't remember him. We have more suits. We have a blue suit. Green suit. I would like the art style if it wasn't quite so blood splattered. It's just, it's a bit much. And then we have this card, which I have to assume is where that tracking thing is going to go. And that'd be it. That is everything in Gorus Maximus from Inside Up Games, designed by Connor Magui. Got to thank Connor for giving me this copy of the game after doing a demo of Seven Souls, which was a really interesting Cthulhu-based game. All right, everything goes back in the box. There is a place for everything, which is nice. It's weird that half the cards have a box, the other half don't. I, it's a really odd decision. Inside Up Games ad, it's Canadian. Showing off some of the other games. Summit, that was one of his big ones. It's most popular. What I'm trying to see is there's something written on the inside. Are you still reading upside down text in the box? Wow, that's funny. There's a little more to that. I'll let someone else discover that. So yes, I was trying to read the upside down text in the box. So that's it, Gorus Maximus, Inside Up Games, trick-taking card game with lots of bloody gladiators and heads being cut off. Uh, card quality is solid. I love the chips. The, the chips are nice. I should almost have kept them out just so you can know. The chips are really nice. That's a nice touch for a card game. Uh, puts it a step above, say, Lost Cities, Rivals, which I just took a look at. They had cards and par cardboard punch tokens. Having those chips in here is a big bonus. Which also explains why this was so heavy, because I was kind of wondering how many cards were going to be in here. Two different decks. One deck has a, um, tuck box. The other doesn't. Not sure why, but hey, whatever. Uh, looking forward to checking this out in the future. So that was a quick look at Gorus Maximus. Again, I am the Tabletop Bellhop, Mo Tuzano. You can find my content all over the web. Uh, just look for Tabletop Bellhop, one word. YouTube, Twitch, Instagram. We're Tabletop Bellhop everywhere. Head over to TabletopBellhop.com website where you can find all kinds of cool gaming content, including answers to your questions. If you've got a gaming or game night related question, think of us as a Dear Abby for gamers and send that over to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or go over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop. If you liked our content, be sure to hit the thumbs up, the like, the heart, the happy thing that makes us content creators extremely happy and shows that what we are doing is appreciated. If you do appreciate what we are doing, you can head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.